You know, the business community has been focused on K-12 education for a long time, and rightly so. We know if kids can't read and cipher and do so on grade level, then they're not set up to be successful uh, in the workplace or in life. And we've worked on that for now nearly 30 years. I think the business community now needs to turn its attention uh, to what is going to take us into the preparedness for the global knowledge economy, and that's post-secondary education. We know that most of the new jobs that are going to be created the high paying jobs are going to require some education beyond high school and that's why we're focused on on higher education in this report today. Well, I think we've never really asked our post-secondary institutions very much about uh, how students are doing, uh, how well they fare in the job market, and, and especially how they're doing with uh, poor and minority student populations. And I think one of the things that we hope we'll do with this report is serve as a catalyst uh, for reflection, both in the academy, in the post-secondary education community, as well as in the policy and business communities. The business community can take action by finding out more about what's going on in their own state. How well are their post-secondary institutions doing to prepare students for their uh, local marketplace and for their own jobs? And so we hope that this report will really engage them around some of the policy uh, gaps and, and provide a roadmap and some examples of what to do first. I think the first place we should go in looking at this report today is to find out more about how post-secondary education is doing in your state and to be deliberate about a strategy that will meet your labor market demands and the demands of your citizens and its population. And so we need more transparency, we need more information. I think one of the things that really comes home is how little we know and understand about this uh, very important institution to the lives of individuals and to the health and strength of our economy.